Next one is from uh, Kevin. Uh, this one's subject is Kevin Nash from Luke Smith, our boy from Down Under. A quick question for Conan. I read an interesting news article that you and Kevin Nash have reconnected recently, amending your friendship after the sad passing of his son. How is it from your end to reconnect with Big Kev, and is there any chance he comes on the podcast soon? I listen to this Click This podcast, and Disco gets mentioned on almost every episode. It'd be great to hear you three guys shoot the breeze. That's from Luke Smith, our boy from Down Under. That sends us, by the way, Luke Smith sends us uh, a lot of violent rugby. Do you get to, do you, does he DM you these two, Conan? The violent rugby clips? Yes, he does. Yeah. By the way, Joe sent the clip, right? And Kevin talked about how you guys reconnected, you know, uh, you, you talked for like over an hour on the phone recently. How'd that go? Yeah, that went excellent. I thought I talked about it. Um, yeah. yeah, that went excellent. I mean, I mean, I just reached out because I knew his son, you know, I, you know, Tristan. I didn't know him now when he was older. I knew him when he was young. Mm -hmm. He was a very well-behaved little kid. It's kind of funny because I told Nash, it's kind of funny how all the wrestlers, they don't want their sons to grow up to be like them. So they're all like pretty well-behaved. Because you would always see, you know, like the wildest wrestlers and then their sons were pretty tame. You know what I'm saying? Well, except for Braun, Braun Breaker. <laughs> right. Bra 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 Brock Rex Steiner was like five years old. And when I went over to his house, went over to Rick Steiner's house, we were supposed to go drive somewhere. But little Brock Rex Steiner picked up rocks and started throwing them at me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty funny. And I'm sure you've heard the story of where uh, Vince Russo's sons used to mess with Jim Cornette big time when he was still yeah. cordial with Russo. So, yeah. So uh, there was some bad blood between us, and he never called me, and I never called him. And so it stayed bad. And then, you know, I thought this was a good chance just to reach out to him. You know, bro, imagine losing your son. So yeah. your, your only son, and he had just lost Scott, you know, your folk. I said, you know, let me reach out to my friend because we were great friends. Right. And uh, I had initially introduced those guys to you. But anyways, um, we just started to talk and we caught up and we just both apologized. You know, we just both apologized, which I think that needed to be done. And I think it showed that our friendship meant more to us than our ego. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, you know, he was hurting and, and you could tell and I. I, I, I'm glad that I was there to provide some solace, you know, and I asked him, not now, obviously, because you're in mourning, but I would love for you to come on our show and just reminisce with me and Disco because we all used to hang out. And he goes, yeah, let me let me just get through this. So, you know, when Big Kev is ready, you know, we'd love to have him on here. He was like a big brother to us, to me and Glenn, and a mentor and a good friend. And, you know, just me and him had very strong personalities and we crashed and now it's done. 